tons and tons of petitions. Right now on Defenders, Ollie, oh, did you just move my camera? You've become a real pain. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing something very special. We are celebrating Endangered Species Day. <laughs> because doesn't everybody celebrate Endangered Species Day? Probably not, but why not? Why shouldn't we celebrate it? Anywho, the first Endangered Species Day began in 2006 and began to raise awareness about protecting and conserving endangered species, their habitats, and everything in between. It is celebrated on the third Friday of every May, so this year, that's May 21st. To get you amped up, I am going to give you 30 ways to help endangered species. Now, obviously, this is only scraping the surface of what you can do to protect other species on this planet, but it's a jumping off point. Also, the point of this video is to give you ideas as a starting off point. I will not be diving deep into every single one because 30 minutes times like a deep dive on each, I don't know, somehow I'm talking for three hours and nobody has time for that. So that being said, let's get to it. Switch to bird friendly or shade grown coffee. A lot of traditional coffee comes from large commercial operations where massive areas of forest land are cleared to make room for the coffee plants. But birds need that forest. Bird-friendly coffee comes from coffee trees grown underneath that canopy of trees that make such excellent migrating bird habitat. Research what endangered species are in your area. Sure, we all know about rhinos and pandas and tigers, and they need our help as well, but there are species in your own backyard who you can have an impact on. Take, for example, the Taylor's checkered spot. It's a species of butterfly that I didn't even know was in Washington, and now there might not be that many left. Sign a petition. This one is super, super easy. I think just going to a nonprofit organization's website, like Defenders of Wildlife, going to their Take Action section, and then scrolling through their list of all the different petitions you can sign. Right now on Defenders, you can protect the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge from big oil. It's that easy. This one should be unsurprising coming from me. Watch a documentary. Find one on a topic that's either brand new to you or a topic that you really want to dig deeper into. For me, I'm going to be watching Sonic Sea. It's one that dives deep into ocean noise and how it affects whales and other marine life. Here's an easy one. Switch your search engine brand to Wakoja. It's free and plants a tree with every single search. And you know who loves trees? Wildlife. <laughs> no, but really in the time of me doing this project, Ecosia has planted over 125 million trees all over the world. Visit your local wildlife refuge. These protected lands are critical habitat for all kinds of wildlife and rely a lot on public support. So visit, volunteer, donate, buy some swag, whatever you can do to support your local wildlife refuge. Eat vegetarian today. Eliminating meat from your diet is great for wildlife in a lot of ways, but the main one being land use. Did you know that in the contiguous United States, 41% of land is used to feed livestock? In comparison, only about 20% is used for regular crops. So grab a vegetable or two today for wildlife. Log on to zooniverse.org and find some citizen science research projects you can participate in. Right from your own computer, anyone can contribute to these real scientific research projects. I headed over to their projects page, and honestly, there are just so many cool options to choose from. The one that really catches my eye, see that? It's called Whale Chat. Whale Chat. Satisfy your sweet tooth with endangered species chocolate. Their cacao is sourced from family-owned co-ops in West Africa. They don't use palm oil. They donate 10% of their profits to conservation organizations. And look how cute these wrappers are. They got animal facts on the inside. Pledge to do your part to save pangolins. Honestly, signing a pledge is really similar to a petition, but it's a pledge. I'll link it below, but I wanted to call out penguins specifically for two reasons. One, they're one of the most heavily trafficked animals in the world. And two, they're just really cool and I feel like nobody knows about penguins. So take this pledge as an opportunity to pledge, learn, all that jazz. Support artists who educate people about wildlife and donate to conservation. Unsurprisingly, I really love animal themed art and luckily there's lots of artists out there who really love animals. Some of my favorites include Owl and Bear Studios, Fin Pin, and my personal favorite, The Naughty Rabbit. Who also happens to be my incredibly talented sister. But maybe a direct donation is more your jam. Do it! 
Find an organization whose mission you believe in and give them your money. I suggest finding a smaller organization with a really specific goal or project or mission. That way you can see how your money is really making a difference. For me, I love the cooking at Beluga Whales, so I'll be donating to the Beluga Whale Alliance to help them get new field equipment. Speaking of donating, consider becoming a member of a nonprofit that you like and making your donation a monthly one. I'm way more invested in them and more likely to follow along with what's going on with what they're doing. Consider it a subscription to wildlife. Maybe you'll sleep better at night. Start a new TV series to learn about a species or multiple species. Nothing's better than adding new animal facts to your repertoire and getting to watch some absolutely gorgeous footage while you're at it. For me, that means this weekend I'll be finally binging Life in Color with David Attenborough, and I am very excited about it. Speaking of animal facts, hopefully the world is opening up soon and you might need some topics of conversation to fill the dead air. Do some research and find the 10 coolest facts about animals to fill any dead air. Everybody wins. You get to learn something new about wildlife. You don't have to be nervous about talking to people again. And hopefully your cool facts will inspire somebody else to care about wildlife. Knowledge is power, baby. Adopt a rhino. Now that may sound extreme, but go to the International Rhino Foundation and you'll see that it's very much possible. When you adopt a rhino, you get a digital certificate, a digital photo of your adopted rhino, a bio about your adopted rhino, an exclusive rhino adoption sticker. And of course, that money helps go to conservation programs that are helping to protect these critically endangered species. Subscribe to a conservation newsletter. Now I know that your emails are probably flooded with promotions and spam and whatnot, but wouldn't you rather it be flooded with conservation success stories and weird animal findings? Head over to the National Wildlife Federation, Conservation Northwest, or your local Audubon chapter. Really, most organizations these days have the option to subscribe online. Follow a podcast focused on wildlife. I'll say it again, knowledge is power. Podcasts are a great way to learn about wildlife in a more intimate and casual setting. I recommend Ologies with Allie Ward or my personal favorite, The Watering Hole. My own podcast that I host with my friend, Nayi Duane, when we talk about wildlife over drinks. Check your favorite snacks and see if they contain palm oil and if it's sustainable. Palm oil is a really tricky beast. It's a very efficient crop and can aid in the development of rural areas. However, if it's produced irresponsibly, it contributes to rainforest destruction and wildlife loss. The Cheyenne Mountain Zoo has a new app that allows you to scan your products and see if that company is committed to sustainable palm oil practices. It's still pretty new, but it's a really cool start. Play Wingspan. Now this one might sound silly, and you might just think it's because it's my favorite game of all time, but it's a really cool learning opportunity as well. For those who have never played the game before, it involves a lot of these bird cards that provide a lot of information about our winged friends. And as a bonus, you can download the app Wing Song, which allows you to scan the cards and then listen to the bird songs. I know I'm biased, but it's a really cool source of entertainment and education. Visit your local AZA accredited zoo or aquarium and see what they're doing for conservation. AZA accreditation means that that facility meets the highest standards in animal care and welfare. They also dedicate time and money into educational programs, conservation, and scientific research. So when you pay admission, you're helping to conserve endangered species. Maybe coffee isn't enough of a celebration for you, and you want a uh, funner drink? If that's the case and you're over 21, make yourself a margarita with some bat-friendly tequila. Did you know that bats were critical to the pollination of the agave plant? That there are some species of bat that rely on the nectar from the agave plant? Bat-friendly tequila and mezcal works with producers who promote bat-friendly practices in the management of agave. Go to batfriendly.org for bat-friendly brands. Start a book about biodiversity, or really any book that gets you inspired to protect the natural world. For me, Half Earth by E.O. Wilson has been on my list for a very long time, so I'm very excited to get this bad boy started. Care about a particular species? Find scientists who are working to protect them and follow them on social media to support their work. Supporting their work could be donating to any kind of fundraisers, sharing their posts, or even just liking them to show your appreciation. Some of my favorite scientists are Dr. Ray Wingrant, Dr. Ayanna Elizabeth Taylor, and Dr. Jess Krim. Buy local honey. It's estimated that bees pollinate 90% of crops. Bees are critical for healthy habitats. Unfortunately, bee populations worldwide are facing decline. So support your local beekeepers who are keeping their colonies happy and healthy. 
Root a success story that came from the Endangered Species Act. This crucial piece of legislation came about in 1973 and aims to protect and conserve endangered and threatened species and their habitats. If you're looking for a place to start, I'd say look up the humpback whale or the bald eagle or even the brown pelican. Are you feeling inspired? Write a letter to your representative. Now with the internet, it's super easy to write an email or to make sure your voice is heard virtually. However, you have to admit there's something about a handwritten letter. So. Find out who your representative is, grab some old stationery, and get to writing. If you don't know where to start, use the template linked below. Sign up for a wildlife run. The World Wildlife Fund is a bunch of different 5K races that you can sign up for. And you can make it as small or as big as you want by turning it into your own personal fundraiser. We love a scalable activity. Share on social media that it's Endangered Species Day and what you're doing about it. Maybe you made a donation, or you signed a petition, or you learned a new fact. Let people know and encourage them to do their part. Maybe you even share this video. And lastly, subscribe to this channel. You may think I'm kidding about that one, but I do have plans that involve learning about wildlife, supporting scientists, and doing my best in regards to conservation. I plan on bringing my subscribers along for the journey, so make sure you're one of them. So there you have it. 30 actionable items you can do to celebrate Endangered Species Day. I hope you liked this video and it inspired you to do something, no matter how small or big, to show your support for the amazing species that we share this planet with. And I hope you continue to celebrate them throughout the year. Make sure you like this video, comment down below to let me know if you plan on doing any of these things, or you did them, or you did them do them anyway. And at the very least, take that last action to heart and be sure you subscribe. Until next time. not the most Ashley tip in the world. Find cool animal facts. Listen, just read about the letter of line, I'm telling you.